Hello people, I'm actually here with my face. Um, I guess I'll do a little bit of a discussion video about my 2023. This is weird because, you know, 2023 ended over a month ago. Almost one and a half months ago. The reason is just I kind of forgot to make this video. Sort of like an annual tradition in a way. Um, but yeah. I thought it was weird because the last one, the my 2022, that one was also a month into the year. Um, that time is for a different reason. It's because I was doing video for the for January. I was doing videos exclusively focused on legacy I iOS devices. I don't know how I managed to get away with all of that, but I did. Um, but yeah, let's get on topic. So, twenty twenty three started in. January, just like any other year. Um, what happened in January, might be asking? Well, I did just sort of say what happened in January. Um, so I decided to do a thing called Legacy iOS Month where I uploaded videos every single day in January about Legacy iOS devices. Somehow I managed to do it. Yeah. And then, and from that I gained, I finally got like a new subscriber record. I finally regained past, I think I had like a subscriber record of like 127. Um, not 128 like I used to believe. Um. And then I I re I finally reached the one thirty subscriber mark in January. Um. Yeah, I was quite happy about that. I was like, oh my god, going somewhere. And then I decided, you know what? Why if I were to upload every single day? For a year. For the whole year. And. Well. It was an idea. So. I continued making videos that weren't. Just Lexi iOS devices. I still made some. If I. Got like a new device or something um but yeah so in february i made some like gaming videos i believe that's when i sort of started playing chrono photo um some of this might stuff might have happened in march actually doing some geo guesser doing this doing that you know and from that i should probably look this up to be fair but from that, I probably gained about another 10 subscribers. Um, I, I really should have just had my the laptop with studio YouTube Studio right in front of me. That probably would have helped. But I gained more subscribers. I gained... I, I, it felt like I was actually like gaining... An audience, believe it or not. Something that I felt like my my channel lacked. Um, I'm just you're changing it to 2023. So, in February, I started off with 130. I finished February. Okay, it wasn't that much, actually. I... I I finished February with 135 subscribers. I started 
March with 134, so I actually lost one. Um, and I ended March with 142, so I reached the 140 mark. Um, also in February, I got my, I still started gaining an interest in Power PC Max. That's when I got. My first two iMac G3s, I made a video about them a couple of days ago, about it being a year. Um, and then I also got, later in the month, um, Power Mac, um, an iMac G5. Did I say Power Mac G3? I So I meant iMac G3. Um, yeah. Then, in March... Was it March? No, I should probably check this out. I got this thing lying from me. But I got sometime March or April, it's one of those, I know that. Oh, YouTube, you useless thing. Um, yeah, so I got some Power, power Mac. G5. When was this? It was the 21st of March 2023. Was the when I got my Power Mac G5. My first one. I've now technically got four of them. <laughs> I really only two of them work, and in reality, it's more like one now. Because I can't work out what's wrong with it with um the original one but yeah by this point i had gained quite a bit of subscribers again i can pretty much just repeat that i know i gained probably about 10 subscribers sort of each month i think actually i think march was no april was quite in the live month i can't remember I think there was a month that's quite dead. Oh, yeah, I think July was a dead month. Looks quite flat. Well, I say flat. It's sort of dropping down. Yeah, so in March, I ended at 142. April started at 142. And by the end of April, I had 156 subscribers. One of the reasons was I made a shorts video... That got like a thousand views within like a couple of hours. Which really increased my subscriber count. count. Um, in fact, I think got like to 146 on the day. Uh, 156 on the day, but like I lost four. Was it 154? I know I lost two, I can't remember. Anyways, I started May with 157. I finished in May with 164. You probably get the pattern, but it still starts to change later on. 165, start of June. End of June. 166, yes, June was a dead month. July, 166, 170, and there is a bit of a dip, I did dip down to 164, August, this is where it sort of starts to change, started with 171, finished with 187, September 187, finished with, um, 2.17, yeah, this is where it sort of starts to change, I start to gain subscribers, again, but more quickly, October, I think it was a bit of a dead month, 2.17, 2, November 
this is a month that I will be talking about in a sec. It was a bit of an unfortunate month in various ways, multiple ways. 1st of November 2023, 225. End of the month, 23. December, 23. Two, two, four, eight. Hey, okay, I'm back. Sort of look a bit. Ugh. I had a bit of a cough there. Not nice. Um, but I need to make this video anyways because I don't really know what else to do. Now, going back to the topic of November, it was not a particularly great month for me. So, on the 14th of November, in the morning, um, my nan died. Um, it wasn't like unexpected, unexpected. She had been ill sort of earlier in the year, sort of like August time. But by like September, she sort of recovered. Um, I say recovered, um, you can probably guess what sort of happened after, um, and we went out and had a meal together, um, and, you know, she seemed fine, really, um, but clearly things changed for the worse after, um, and it was mostly... In November, well, I say in November. It was in November I sort of became aware that um, things had become the worst. And if I'm being honest, I wasn't really... I, I was expecting it within, like, the last day, like, um, of her life. Um, it's really... Like, it, in... in in the long term, it was sort of unexpected because, like, her mum lived to 100. She only died four years ago. Well, I say four years ago. Not actually four years ago at this point. I think she died in March 2020. Um, but, yeah. So, three years prior, sort of closer to four years. Um, yeah. And thing is, my birthday, 16th of November, um, it, it really sort of, I don't know how, it's ruined my birthday the correct way, but let's just say it was something I was really thinking about, you know, the fact she was gone for the next few weeks, really. Um, and, you know, her funeral as well. That was in December. Um, yeah. And if I'm being honest, it was even just that that was like sort of emotionally draining me, let's say. Um, my PC that I ordered, spent a lot of money on, was not working. It was not turning on. Nothing was happening. Um, and I basically broke a CPU sort of accidentally from it. And the CPU wasn't the problem at all. I bought like a new CPU. A worse CPU in fact. It was actually the motherboard that I had. And to make things even more annoying. I didn't find this out until like. December um, like right at the end of December but the seller refused to give a full refund because oh there was thermal paste in the CPU which was preventing it from working no it wasn't it was never working in the first place I did the BIOS update I did all of that they just ripped me off and also I will say I actually did not realise this but the board itself was like 20 quid above RRP 
yeah, not good. Um, so, got a different motherboard, it works. Got it for way less as well. Although, I got, well, I got it for like 60 quid. Only problem is it's got one less M.2 slot and one less PCIe slot. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. It still works. Though maybe one of the motherboard slots, is, um, RAM slots not working because, yeah. Um, it, it, I think it doesn't boot with one, the final stick of RAM in. But that could maybe be a CPU issue because I have been a pen bar, don't I? I will get a new CPU and I can find out with that, really. But it works. I can't complain now. But back then, I was just really pissed off, essentially, with the computer not working. And, you know, the, my nan being gone really sort of fueled my emotions more. And, yeah... Uh, and another event that happened in the same week, because this happened in the same week, she died on a Tuesday, my birthday was on a Thursday, and on Saturday, I cut myself with like a knife, not intentionally, I should point that out, but I cut myself with like a little knife, and I was proper bleeding, can't remember where it was exactly. I want to say it was my thumb. This thumb, my right thumb. Right, for me, for you. Not. Well, yes, it is actually. Um. But, yeah. And I was just really stressed out. I seriously thought I was going to, like, bleed to death. I, I, think, I think it's just... You know, what had happened earlier sort of just really made me worry that I, I just really didn't want to die right then. You know, um, yeah, it really was not a good week, really, for me at all. Just like it felt like everything was just going wrong, it just, mm, yeah, I just didn't really enjoy my birthday either, and also, like, I, I, I did, so, you know, uh, like, um, I should probably mention, my nan had, you know, done a birthday card before she died, um, and that, and me receiving it, yeah, my my emotion just went. It, it was just sort of like a reminder that she was gone. Of course, you know, she didn't intend that. Very not. She definitely didn't intend that. But it, it was what it was. You know? Um, but yeah, it really was a bit of a year. Um,. I think I'll go move on to sort of December where things started to turn out actually all right. Um, so, technically this was actually in November and technically this was actually... I found out about this before my man died, like the Sunday before, so two... Yeah, two days before um, she died. That I was getting some computing stuff from my granddad. Um, and, yeah. Said an iMac, laptop, I think he said tablet and iPhone. Uh, I can't remember if that was the exact details, but that's what I got, essentially. Um, definitely did say iMac. And, well, yeah, I did. I ended up... My dad picked them up in December, so this was about two weeks later, and I mean, I'm quite happy with it, you know, I made videos about them, in fact, I made a video about 
one the laptop I'm I literally uses my main laptop right now. Um mostly just because my my other laptops are just sort of broken in various ways. But if I go back into the December, this was like one of the first videos of December. Um I made a video on this laptop and currently it has 1.7k views. And then the iMac videos got 48, the first one. The second one's got 76. And I can't, can't be, but I'll search up what the other ones are. I've got, you know, a couple of these, but not of them. Um, okay, so this video. And, YouTube, tell me how much views it's got from when I search it, not when I click on it and go into analytics, for God's sake. It's got 33 views, which isn't particularly great, but it was just me upgrading the RAM, really. But, um, yeah. Um, I probably need to wrap this up because the phone's going to run out of battery. It gave me like a low battery warning earlier. Um, yeah, so I think that sort of made me a bit happier. Well, like the first bit. And then later I got a new motherboard. Put in the computer. I did have to fiddle about with it. I can't really remember what on earth I did. This was, you know, two months ago at this point. I feel about good working and I was just so happy. That was even the first bit that I was happy in that day. Because I found out that I would be start getting paid soon for doing a job that I actually kind of enjoy. Which just was not a thing I was expecting. To be fair, I haven't been paid yet, but I will get paid probably within a couple of weeks. So there's that. It'll probably be a bit more because not being paid back then. Um Yeah. So I guess that's and then I guess the final bit is I got Three Power Mac G5s. One of them's been liquid cooled damaged, and two of them are quads that aren't liquid cooled damaged. A Mac Pro 2006. Two Power Mac G4s. Um, and yeah, that's it. One's graphite, one's a Quicksilver graphite digital audio. I don't know. Um, and the graphite slash digital audio one had a CPU upgrade, which like cost way too much when you try and buy them, and they're also not very widely available. Uh, and that was like a really good deal. I got it all together for seventy quid. The Palmac G five quads are also worth like ridiculous amounts of money. Um, more than they should, let's be real. But I got them for, you know, in total, you know, six things for 70 quid. If you divide that, that's like 11.7 something, something like that. So, about, you know, 12 quid for Palmac G5 quads times two. If I were to sell them off, I could probably make at least 200 quid um, for both of them um, I'm not doing that by the way just make it clear because one of them very much works and I want to keep it like that um, yeah I think that's going to be it for today hopefully you enjoyed this sort of recap video that actually shows my face for the first time in god knows how long and goodbye.